All right, guys, we're back again. We're heading out camping in the old Monster Lodge again. Hopefully it's not too muddy out here. It's just got done snowing a couple days ago, so we might have a little mud. We got Josh over here, Spencer in the back seat, and myself right here. And uh, we're gonna head out, do some camping. And uh, today we're gonna try to heat the Monster Lodge with a diesel heater that we have. We also brought the Buddy Heater as a backup, but hopefully the diesel heater heater will keep us warm, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So we'll be back with you and get camp set up here in a bit. All right guys, so we found our uh, camp spot here. I'm gonna set the Monster Lodge up right here because it's relatively flat. It's kind of on a slope here, but there's a flat spot here. So we're gonna set it up right here, get camp set up, and uh, that's our next task. Alright guys, so that's what's so awesome about that tent. It took us just a couple minutes to set it up. Got Josh over here putting the tent stakes in. Using the DeWalt drill. Not sponsored. Not Probably sponsored by though. DeWalt, but they should sponsor us. Be a better deal for us. Yes. Maybe not for them. Gotta be up under there. All right guys, a little update here. We got Spencer and Josh in here getting the bed situation going. I've been hooking up our diesel heater out here. Let me show that to you. So we just mounted this to these two two befores to elevate it up a bit so the exhaust could come up. Built this little bracket right here to hold the exhaust. Then we got the deep cycle battery over here. So we're thinking that that should run us all night. Guess we're gonna find out. If not, we did bring the buddy heater just in case we run into an issue. Just have a backup. It's supposed to get down um, to about five, six degrees tonight, so it's gonna be pretty cold. That's Fahrenheit, and uh, we don't want to take any chances of freezing. So we bought a, brought a backup heat source since this one's untested. We have rented a bit at home to heat our garage and stuff, but. Uh, we haven't ran it for an extended amount of time. We got this heater a couple of years ago, but I just barely decided to uh, give it out and use it. So we're gonna see how that goes for us tonight. So this is our campsite here. Kind of show you around a bit amongst the uh, juniper trees here. Have kind of a nice view off this way. 
snow covered hills. And Timmy the truck over here, Spencer, and our tent over here. And uh, got a nice fire pit here if we decide we want to fire tonight. We'll see how that goes. We may just hunker down in the tent and watch a movie. Or we may get a fire going here in a bit. When the sun goes down, it's going to start getting cold. Wow. <laughs> it's too powdery. Alright, so this is our setup here for right now. We've got our chairs here, caught. Bed on this side. Bed on this side, a little more comfortable than last time. We got the buddy heater on there for a second just to heat it while we're loading stuff. stuff. And then we're gonna get the uh stuff. we're gonna get the the uh diesel heater. Yes, that's what it is. Go in here in a few minutes. Got our food down here so we're not freezing stuff. And Josh has the most important thing over there, right the Mountain Dew. We're gonna leave that outside so it gets nice and frosty. <laughs> Don't throw it in the snow, it's gonna get all wet. Oh yeah. <laughs> it dry. We're trying to light a fire here. No way. Yeah, we'll get that on those big jobs. Laying boards down. That's what Dad says over here. So we have a dry base to light the fire on. Then you want to put this here, okay? And then you put these here after you light it. So take your fat wood. We have fat wood today. <laughs> so we're gonna put this here. We're gonna get our cotton ball. This one, man. Spencer says his hands are too cold to light a fire. Wuss. <laughs> so, here's Spencer. He's wussing out on the fire lighting on us. So we're going to take our cotton ball with our petroleum jelly here. We'll put our cotton ball down here. Whoop. <laughs> now it's stuck to it. Mm -hmm. That wood's a beautiful thing. If you've never lit a fire with fat wood, you should do it because this stuff, especially with this many sticks, we'll throw a little overkill here on the fat wood, but. I figure since it's wet, we'll need all the help we can get. And you say we put this over? Yeah. And you start laying boards across this way. And that'll take off here in a few minutes. So you can see, this has only been going for a minute or so. That fat wood in there, and the sap and stuff in there, just gets it burning quick. It's one of the best fire starters out there. show you here around our camp it's getting cold sun's going down over here 
So we're gonna get our diesel heater fired up because it's getting cold quick. Cold start. So what time is it? Let's see what time it is because I want to know how long this will run. It's 6.20 p.m. right now. We're gonna see how long this will run. Yeah, you just so we're gonna get her button. started up. You just push the power button there. It's on. And then it's gonna go through its cycle here. It takes it about five, 10 minutes to warm up. And it'll start pushing some warm air out inside there. All right, she's getting going now. It's been about five minutes. If you listen, you can hear the fuel pump ticking there. We've got some exhaust coming out here. It's starting to get warm. Hopefully this will keep us warm in there all night. We do need to find something to put around this hole, to fill in this gap a bit, I think. So we're gonna get our dinner going, get our stove lit, season up our steaks, and get them cooking. But I was gonna cook nachos this time for something different, but uh, Spencer said he wanted steak, so we're doing steak again. So first thing we gotta do is get our pan heating up. If you're gonna have a good steak, you gotta cook it in a cast iron pan, and you gotta have it hot. So our next matter of business, we got a nice ribeye here, and we're gonna season this thing up. Hand me one of those plates. Steak's a little frozen, but we're gonna make her happen here. Got my little spice kit here. Josh says it's cute. Got some oil. And I actually brought a new cooler here. Garbage. Get our cooler open. It's got these straps on it. I don't like to cooperate. Got a little of this here, all purpose seasoning today. It's got pepper, garlic powder, salt, all the good stuff. So we're just going to put some of that on there. So, then we're going to let it hang out here while our pan heats up. Let that salt start to soak into it a bit. Alright, <clears throat> see where this is going. He says Spencer's he's cold. He says he's cold, so he's hogging all the heat. We got the heat vent shoved down his sleeping bag. It's like 60, 60 65 degrees in here or something, 55 something. How hot is it? Uh, yeah, it's 60. Yeah, 60 degrees in here. In a sleeping bag. And this guy says he's cold. Are you cl are you warm yet? On the feet. Yes. Yes, that's what we get. Yes, he is warm. All right, so we got our pan going here. We're gonna put a little bit of a little bit of oil in here. Get it nice and hot, so we get a good sear on these steaks. It's the best way to cook a steak. Get it in your cast iron here. Get a little bit of oil. Preferably clarified butter, which we don't have, but we do have a little bit of oil, so we're gonna go that route. And uh, here in just a second, we'll be throwing one of those steaks in there to get a good sear on it once it gets nice and hot. All right, so our oil's good and hot. We got a couple windows open for some ventilation. We're gonna get her seared up. We gotta hold the pan up because our stove's not level. Alright, we're gonna give this steak its first flip here. 
Yeah, look at that. We're getting a nice sear on that thing. It's looking good. And the steak's looking mighty fine. Can't wait to get into that. So we put this in there and it's over 120 degrees Fahrenheit, 50 degrees Celsius, and it's maxed out. So it's hotter than that. Yeah, our thermometer coming out of there is maxed out when you hold it up to the vent. Some hot air coming out of that thing. Alright guys, we got our one steak done. It's rested for about 15 minutes, so we're cutting her open. This one, we have this paper towel thrown over it because it was throwing grease all over the place. That's kind of keeping grease at, at bay. Um, it's not the safest because it might catch on fire, but you know, don't do what we do. We're not uh, an example of how to do things. This is just how we do it. We know it's unsafe. Oh yeah, look at that. Looking pretty good. A little well done on this end, but for it being frozen, look at all that juice coming out of it. We better have a piece of this. Mm -hmm. That's a good steak right there, guys. Look at that crust on it. We better feed some to the old cameraman here. And to the child back here in the sleeping bag thing. It's cold. There you go, man. Thumbs up. <laughs> All right, a little update of our situation here. We've got Spencer over here hunkered down in his bed. Josh hunkering down. But See, he's here, got dude. the diesel heater right in his sleeping bag. Hey. So this is the deal. We thought the diesel heater wasn't doing us good a job, but then we realized it wasn't turned up all the way. So now we have the diesel heater turned up all the way. It's warmer in here. It seems to be doing it a little better. It was only keeping it about 55 degrees. But now that we went out and adjusted her and turned her up higher, Probably be warmer oh, yeah. if I didn't keep hogging it. Yeah, and Josh is hogging it, so that's not probably awesome. stop. So anyway, that's the update of the moment. We've just been kind of sitting around all evening. Um, and we're gonna get in bed here before too long. It's about ten o'clock. All right, guys, it's six thirty-seven in the morning. The truck says it's eight degrees outside. We stayed nice and warm last night though. All right, morning everybody. So we had a pretty good night's sleep. The uh, diesel heater, kept it warm enough it kept it probably about 55 60 degrees in here it by no means would run you out of here but it did get pretty cold last night too it got down to about seven or eight degrees outside um, it done its job it ran we started it at about 6 30 last night and it ran out of fuel this morning at about 5 45 so we have the buddy heater on now because we didn't bring any new fuel with us any new fuel any more fuel with us <laughs> so anyway we're up this morning and going we've been up for an hour or so just kind of talking and sitting around and uh, here in a minute we're gonna get some breakfast going so we'll uh, be back with you when we start making some breakfast but all in all we all stayed warm last night we lived to tell about it and so anyway uh, we're gonna get some breakfast made all right guys, breakfast time. Today, on the menu, breakfast burritos. So we're gonna get some of the old homemade bacon cooked up. The best bacon there is. And then we're gonna cook up some eggs, wrap them up in a tortilla with some salt and cheese. 
have us a good breakfast. That's good. Spencer snitching the bacon for it's time to eat. Mm. Snitching it. are over here drinking the hard stuff. Got his Mountain Dew for breakfast. Step three. All right, so me and Josh are having breakfast burritos, but Spencer just wants a fried egg. How many do you want? Mm, one. He just one. Maybe two. Okay, so we're gonna fry two eggs for Spencer because that's how he wants them. Then we're going to scramble some for me and Josh for our breakfast burritos. All right, we got egg number two going in for Spencer here. Let's see if he can eat, eat two of them. Got to get us a little salt and pepper on there. So, it's warmed up quite a bit in here since we got the, since the sun came out and it's hitting the top of the tent. It helped a lot, so it's pretty hot. We'll just have the heater on low over there. So we're going to finish cooking Spencer's eggs, then we'll let him eat some breakfast fast. Alright, we got Spencer's fried eggs done here. They're looking mighty good. Look at that. You want some bacon? Yes. How many pieces? Two. That's what Spencer's having for breakfast. We'll have him get a taste of it, see if it's any good. All right, we're gonna get our scrambled eggs made up. We're just gonna throw them in here and scramble them. Pepper, a little salt. We'll be eating breakfast burritos in no time. Spencer's gonna try these eggs here. Good? Mm -hmm. Alright. Good. Alright, so we're gonna get some cheese on these eggs and let that melt. The eggs are done. We just need cheese on there. Melty cheese is better than unmelted cheese on a breakfast burrito. So, put some cheese on here. Let that melt. We got our tortillas on a plate in front of the old buddy heater heating up. We're about uh, ready to eat some burritos. All right, cheese is melted. Need our tortilla here. Oh, that's a nice warm tortilla. Been in front of the old buddy. Need some eggs on here. We'll put a couple strips of our bacon here. And then set this down for a second so that I can get me some salt for here. Just like so. We're gonna eat some burrito. All right guys, we're gonna try this burrito along with that little life hack for you. If you're gonna have a second taco or burrito, put your second tortilla down there. It catches all the stuff that falls out of your first one and you can just wrap it up with the second one. Good burrito. Everything always tastes better when you're camping. Okay, we're going to give this burrito a try. Mighty fine burrito. Alright guys, so we've just been sitting around here for the last hour, hour and a half. Actually, we've cleaned some stuff up. We've got everything picked up except for these chairs, the buddy heater, and the tent. We're just kind of letting the tent dry out a bit so that we could pack it up, get the condensation off of it, and uh, it's about there. So we're going to get this tent put away, loaded in the truck, and uh, head for home here before too long. But 
we've had a good time. It's a good night out. Get away from everything, all the crap. Think about something else other than what's on the news and that kind of stuff. So, anyway, we're going to finish packing up and head out of here. Up in the back of the truck, bro. Alright guys, so we got everything packed up. We got Josh over here driving us home. We're headed out. We had a good camping trip. We got to spend some time with each other and eat some good food. So I think everybody had a good time. Did everybody have a good time? Yep. 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 We uh, tested out that diesel heater. Uh, like I say, if we would have had a little more fuel, it would have ran all night. But all in all, it ran about just shy of 12 hours on that one tank of fuel and that was on high all night um, the battery never gave out on us it ran all night um, it increased the temperature in the tent about 30 degrees it was definitely better than the space heater that we done in the last video but it's not as good as the buddy heater or the wood stove I don't believe I haven't tried the wood stove in this tent with the new wood stove next time we go out we're gonna try that uh, new stove but all in all, I was, uh, I'd say I was fairly impressed with the diesel heater for the conditions. It was got down to about 8 degrees. I would guess that was when I checked in the morning. It was probably a little cooler than that, 1 or 2 degrees maybe. But all in all, it got down to 8 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I'll put on the screen what that is in Celsius because I don't know off the top of my head. But, uh, yeah, so... I would use the diesel heater again, um, probably not when it was going to get quite that cold, like if it was going to be in the 20s, 15s or 20s, you'd probably be really good with it, And uh, but it kept us comfortable all night, I mean I have no complaints, I never got cold all night, the boys said they didn't get cold all night, so it was, it was a win I would say, it was nice because you didn't have to get up in the middle of the night and check anything, you didn't have to worry about carbon monoxide, anything that way, so. Anyway, 
if you like what you see give us a thumbs up and a like subscribe it's free and we'll see you on the next one